so now we because of the twisting and the angle of this one we need to give it a serious amount of edge bend if we can and there's a knot right down at the bottom there actually I might just cut that I think I'll cut that knot off Again, I'll just try and give him a bit more twist. He's just not lying very flat on the planking there. That's a bit better. And this is this is the disadvantage of this method, really, over the hot nailing method. If we had nails in these planks ready to drive in now, then the, the rib could be positioned, the nail driven in, and that would pull that rib out right to that plank. Then the next one, then the next one, then the next one, all the way up. So it's where there's extreme twists or angles or curves that the hot nailing, meth hot nailing method is a bit superior. But you still don't get the quality of finish that uh, you do when you actually take your time and drill the holes. Okay. You also have to be careful up here and if you tap them down, of course, all you're doing is trying to drive the garbage plank away from the, the stem. So. We should try and get in there with it, I think. is just where the clamp is so when it, the rib gets cut off below it that'll be fine. That's a, a good reason for doing the long ribs first and then the ends can be used up for the shorter ones. We're getting to, to where there's more twist and more bend so only the only the good bits of wood are going to do it. And that one's starting to go there. And yeah, we're, we're opening up to all the faults, really. Oh, but we only want we only want decent bits of wood in there in the end. So I'd rather it broke now than when we're nailing it. Oh, you know, fancy being a draw for this really.
Yeah, that's good. Bingo. I might do the next one. That's right. As I uh, said earlier, that one of the advantages in having this batten around is that you can clamp to it and you're not clamping to the top plank. But several of the clamps have got wooden blocks under the the heads but quite a few haven't and the tannin in the oak reacts with the iron in the clamp and just that one's only been there probably an hour or so you can see already how badly stained the oak is the good news is of course that these are going to get cut off level with the top plank so 99% of this is going to be cut away and thrown away and any staining that has just streaked down can be sanded out when we take the clamp, when we take the rib out to uh, clean up before we put it back in and nail it but that's also the danger of having quite a few boat builders use a a cast iron piece of pipe as a steam box and that just turns every rib completely purple um, and if you're handling hot oak without gloves you end up with purple hands but that's not bad we've got a fairly good set of ribs in there uh, we'll have to steam a couple more just for the one back aft and uh, a couple of very slightly curved pieces up the front and we'll also have a have a little look around to make sure there's no faults with any of the ribs that we've put in just checking down around to make sure there's no little splits starting to occur they don't look too bad there's nothing obvious I can see at the moment but if we if we steam another couple of ribs we may be just clamping a couple across here just just in case sometimes there's things which only become obvious when you take them out to clean them up but that's good